Hi, this is Philippe. Welcome to Concert Classical Guitars here in Paris. And uh, we hope that you all are safe and be well. And we're going to show you today a brand new guitar, which is coming from Germany. This guitar is made by Dieter Hopf. Dieter Hopf is a world famous uh, guitar maker, um, known mostly in the 80s when his guitars were played by uh, Baden Powell and um, Alexandre Goya, who was very famous in France and most of his uh, students were playing uh, a portentoso guitar, uh, including myself, still have that guitar. And um, Dieterhoff was a great inventor, always uh, moving his design, improving his design and making uh, great guitars and uh, to his days his name is still very famous all his guitars are played all over the world and um, this is the latest um, uh, rendition of the portentosa so this one is the portentosa evolution and um, this guitar is um, is like the old traditional portentosa with the first one we're having a fan strut and this one is uh, very modern in the inside which it's a uh, lattice braced with balsa and carbon uh, but there, there is no frame in uh, internal frame to support the top it's like a traditional guitar but with a uh, with a lattice brace 12 hole tie block very classy looking um see the top always the same uh, designed rosette the same inlays as before very uh, luxury guitar uh, back and side of a very very beautiful indian rosewood master grad uh, you can see all of the guitar all those uh, inlays very 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 beautiful also one feature that was um, back then it's the the neck at the time it was a longer scale like a 65 uh, 66 67 now it's a 65 uh, centimeters scale length very small and very comfortable heel and then you have uh, this plywood of uh, Indian rosewood was uh, in the fashion back then and it's still very comfortable. The only thing that I've changed a little bit, I think, is the shape here. It's a little more rounder. Uh, um, in the 80s it was flatter, like the Spanish guitars, and now it's, uh, it's more rounder and it's much more comfortable to me. Uh, then you have still have the the is uh, designed as headstock with the slotted head here with the logo of the detail of company uh, goto premium tuning machines very precise uh, very lightweight by the way because you have some uh, holes drilled here and um, uh, you this guitar like a traditional guitar has a um, flat uh, neck on the top, no raised fingerboard uh, like the old uh, Ditto of guitars and we have a beautiful um, ebony fretboard. The setup of this guitar is, is just perfect. It's kind of low. I think it's maximum three millimeters here at the 12th fret and maximum four at the sixth uh, string 12th fret. Uh, no buzzing and it's also kind of low here just just enough no buzzing and uh, this guitar is a is a cross between the traditional sounding guitar very lightweight with uh, solid woods but you have the benefit of the lattice on on this design and you have more power and more thickness to the notes so let's check out the sounds of each strings. So now I'm starting with a low E. Big and 
Vámonos. One thing I can mention is uh, usually when you have a big low E, boom, when you play the F note, and then the, the sound is becoming more quickly, more uh, clearer. And um, on this guitar, this is low, this is very, very dark and round. And then the F has the same tone and still round. The same. And now it's, it's going to change because the, the register is coming up. It's still very, very creamy. It's a, it's a lattice guitar, but you have the feelings that it's um, a little more like a, like a double top guitar. So then the A. here because Andre is moving all the things and uh, it's just a little disturbing. Then the D string. It's a little more open. The low E is just amazing. funny because when you start the first position the sound is bright and uh, with a lot of punch there's a lot of clarity and then when you move to uh, down the fretboard and now it's becoming more it's it's, it's rounder down to the fretboard you have clearer 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 and then on this one the sound is still um, very even strings and each position it's very very impressive and then the G string now it's becoming more creamy String is just a, just like the third. Very clear also and and sweet. And then the first, a little more open.
very nice all over the fretboard. If um, when you play chords. and just like you playing on the piano and the basses are deep and they surround all the sound of the chord if I play a melody with the basses Wonderful guitar is the winner, and um, there's a lot of pleasure to play it. Uh, this is just a dream machine, so any player would fall in love with this guitar. And um, if you are looking for the German tradition with uh, a lot of luxury, beautiful workmanship, and traditional voice with a lot of power, this is this is the greatest. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe on our channel. Thank you.